instead of fishing all summer, we spent the entirety of the summer still in Fort Lauderdale after fire restoration, rebuilding both engines because we sucked the valve and I just want to get it done right the first time and start off fresh. So we got that done, put the floor back in, which was a mess rebuilding that salon after ripping everything open, but we did it. And then we were really on a tight schedule. Eric and I had to hustle. We ran up the coast, we went 957 miles in 48 hours two quick stops to get fuel and we made it just in time for Wave Marlin Open. So we were stoked to be back at it. Well, here we are. It's been a long time. I think I remember how to do this. <laughs> <laughs> we have a friend Chris, came up from Curacao. He's gonna have some fun this one Wave Marlin Open. You ready to go, Eric? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're here, we made it. Wasn't sure we would, but boat is totally back together after two engine rebuilds and massive restoration. She's ready. Feeling up here in Seaview Harbor Marina and then running down Ocean City today. It's Sunday before the White Marlin Open. I am amped. Let's go. I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working now, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything Open that door. Pop it right off. 
Ready to go, boys! Woo! Woo! Yeah, Jamie! Nice blue on deck! Woo! Yeah! yeah. Early, we miss you, bud. Tomorrow, we'll do something cool. Well, it is September in New Jersey, and I am amped to get back to charter fishing. We just fished the white marlin open in early August, and managed to have a few uh, white and blue marlin releases, and had some fun that tournament. Unfortunately, none of them were big enough to amount to anything for us or make some money. Then we had a mid-Atlantic tournament. Uh, we did kill a blue marlin early in the week, and we actually we killed it, hoping that uh, it would make weight. The dimensions had it 421 pounds ended up being 398 but you know it is what it is it happens and we had to take our shot and at the time there wasn't much on the board turns out later in the week it wouldn't have mattered anyway so it was cool to put one on deck and we released some white marlin had a good time and fished a, a few charters after that caught a few tunas and some white marlin so and plenty of mahi so it was you know solid week of fishing and now we're in the middle of a nor'easter. It's just starting to get pretty again. Looks like we can finally get out. We've been down for a week because it's just been a blowout. Been blowing 30 knots offshore, big waves. So we canceled all of our trips and rescheduled for later, later in the season here. But uh, yeah, I'm amped more than ever to get back to it. So hopefully I'll have plenty of action coming at you. And if you don't already know, I have a podcast now. It's Saltwater Euphoria Podcast. I actually talk about the tour both tournaments and I speak with the winners of all the Marlin categories in the Mid-Atlantic. So make sure you check that out. Again, that's Saltwater Euphoria Podcast and you can just get on Apple Podcasts or Spotify. So make sure you check that out. Keep following me here and I'll start doing a lot better at keeping up this captain's vlog. It's just been a chaotic year for me with the boat. So I'm happy to be back at it and hopefully more fishing action coming at you.